Now, we're going to learn how can we create matrices by using a matrix function. What you should know is that when we are using a matrix function, matrix function has two arguments, n row and n column, right? So that allows us to create a matrix with specific dimensions. Let's say, for example, we want a matrix that will start, and let us use this sequence of numbers, start from 1 to 12, and we want three rows and n call and four columns. Remember that the size of that matrix is m times n, right? So m, um, m is the number of rows and n is the number of columns. So if we multiply these two, we get 12. Okay, so we'll have 12 entries as we have specified from that sequence of 12 numbers. So let's run this. As you can see, it has created a matrix with um, three rows and four columns, right? But by default, the values are read into the matrix in a column-wise manner, right? Which means that the first column will contain the numbers one, two, three, right? And the next column will contain the numbers four, five, six. So this is read in a column-wise manner. This is controlled by arguments that we can specify an additional argument, right, to do to matrix function. And that argument is by row. So if you specify by row, by default, it, it is false, right? So if we specify true in this case, so what will happen is that we are now reading values by row, right? So which means we're gonna start one, two, um, three, and four, because we are now reading by row. And if we run this, this is going to be our output.